Question number 18. We are told a line uh, L1 passes through the points 3, 3, and 5, 7. Find the equation of line 1 in the form y is equal to mx plus c, where m and c are constant. Uh, so to be able to handle part A, you need to get the gradient of this line. The gradient is change in y over change in x. So you say uh, gradient is equal to change in y, we subtract uh, 7, we subtract uh, 3, and we divide by 5 uh, minus 3. And that is going to give us, uh, this will be 4, and this will be 2. So you divide 4 by 2, you get the gradient is 2. You use a general point, x and y, so you say, when you subtract, you can use either 3, 3, or 5, 7. Let's use 3, 3, minus 3, divide by x, uh, minus 3, again, should give us the same gradient, that is 2 because the gradient of a straight line does not change so when you cross multiply you have y minus 3 is equals to uh, we say 2x that is 2 multiplied by x and you minus uh, this is 6 b of the question another line l2 is perpendicular to l1 and passes through minus 2 3 find the equation of L2. So if this line is perpendicular to L1, then it means its gradient uh, is equal to minus a half. Why? Because when you multiply uh, the gradients of two perpendicular lines should give you minus uh, one. So if you multiply minus a half times two, that should give you minus one. Now we have the gradient and we have a one point which is uh, minus 2 and 3 that is uh, the line passes there so you can use this information to get the equation of the line so you say y uh, minus 3 uh, divide by x uh, minus minus 2 will give you plus uh, so that is plus 2 is equals to the gradient the gradient of a straight line does not change so when you cross multiply you get y minus 3 uh, is equals to uh, this will give you minus a half x when you multiply that and this will give you minus one so you take three to the other side you'll be able to get y is equals it becomes positive so it is minus a half and uh, that is minus a half x and three minus the line cuts the the x-axis the value of y is zero so we just say uh, y is 0 is equals to minus a half uh, x plus 2. Uh, you take a uh, half to the other side, you have uh, a half x is equals to 2. Uh, so you multiply both sides by 2, you get x is equals to 4. Uh, when you get x is equals to 4, part C of this question, we are to determine the point of intersection of line 1 and line 2. So point of intersection is where the two lines uh, cut each other and we have the equation of the L1 y is equals to we got it is 2x uh, minus 3 and the equation of the other line is y we have seen it is y is equals to minus a half x uh, plus 2. So it means at the point of intersection uh, the value of y and the value of x is, is the same so we can equate uh, 2 we say, so we say 2x minus 3 uh, that is equals to y is equals to minus a half x uh, plus 2 so you can put the right terms together this will be you you take uh, you take uh, when you take two and a half two a half to the other side becomes positive so it becomes uh, two and a half x which we can write five over two is the same as two and a half is equals to we take three to the other side it becomes positive so two plus three you get five uh, so to get x we multiply uh, five we multiply by two and we divide by five uh, so this 
divide by that so our x is equals to 2 at the point of intersection so you can get uh, y is equals to you can use one of the equation we can say it is 2x since already we have uh, since already we so we have uh, we substitute for x so it is 2 you multiply by 2 and you minus 3 according to our equation and this will give you 4 minus 3 that will give you 1 so the point of intersection the coordinates are x is 2 and y is 1 so that is the point of uh, intersection and that's how you complete that question by the end of that you should be able to earn 10 marks so the, this one you covered in form 2 uh, uh, gradients and equation of straight lines so you should know when the lines are parallel when they are they are perpendicular what conditions must they make